Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And to all of my returning OGs, what's up, y'all? So welcome to February 2020, yeah? A very, very happy birthday to all my Aquarians out there. And I also want to wish a happy birthday to the February Pisceans. We will be moving into your season next, yes? So um, with that said, I do want to mention, first of all, I want to say that this is the intro and you will find a, um, a timestamp pinned in the comments section that will get you straight to the reading. So if you're watching multiple readings and you don't want to listen to the intro over and over again, you can use that timestamp. I do recommend, however, that everybody listen to the intro at least once because there is some information that you may really need or may be privy to, may want to be privy to, that you would miss had you not listened to the intro. Yeah. So with this being Aquarius season, I do want to mention that the reading for Aquarius could very well be a collective energy, a collective reading. However, it is intended to be for those who are looking for guidance guidance for the sign of Aquarius because we are in that season. I do feel like this could be a reading for you generally. So maybe you might want to watch that reading just to see how it applies to you and what it could mean for your life moving through Aquarius season, just like I did with Capricorn last month, um, even though I did mention that maybe I wanted to do a separate reading so that your readings don't get hijacked with collective energy. Hi <laughs> um, it didn't necessarily happen that way this month. I'll see. Um, but if you guys if you guys find that you know you might want an actual reading please let me know for the month of, or for the season that we're moving in i would love to know i'd love to hear that from you yeah um okay so these these readings are general and they are timeless so because they're general readings um you know just take what resonates everything is not going to resonate for everyone and this may not even be the reason for you if if you're hearing listening to this and it's just not fitting it's not making sense then please don't try and fit anything into your life that doesn't belong there naturally okay and also keep in mind that this is a general reading i'm channeling for thousands of people so um you know not everything is going to necessarily resonate with you all the time okay so just keep that in mind also these readings are timeless so just because it is dated for the month of february and i'm channeling energies for the messages for the month of february for you it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you during the month of february this could be messages that come forward to you that spirit wants you to know at this time but it's not something that doesn't actually manifest or happen for some time down the road okay so just keep that in mind i am available for private readings all the information is found in the description box below this video um, you can also find me on uh, social media. I'm on Facebook at Divine Conversations 2711. I'm also on Instagram at Divine underscore Conversations. I do welcome you to reach out to me there. However, if you are looking to book a personal reading, I do not recommend that you use Facebook. Um, I don't even really recommend that you use Instagram. However, Instagram is a more viable option. I am able to get to the messages more quickly, but my dm situation is just full of all kinds of messages so there's still a possibility that i might miss your inquiry and with that said even if you were to say to reach out on instagram for a personal reading i'm still going to defer you back to email so if you would like to get a personal reading with me check the description box below my email can be found there along with all of the readings that i offer their description and their prices and then email me directly. My email address is divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. But again, that can be found in the description box. Again, I am going to, even if you were to reach out on Instagram, I am still going to defer to your email address because I would at least need your email address to send you an invoice for the reading. So you're better off just skipping a step and emailing me, emailing me directly and I'll get you set up for a personal reading. Yeah? Cool. So the Oracle deck that we're using for this month is the Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. I really, really enjoyed using this this um, this deck this month. Um, it was a deck that was provided by a viewer. Thank you so much for sending this in. I really appreciate it. For those of you that are interested in donating Oracle decks or Tarot decks that you would like to see used on the channel, I do have a PO box that the information for that can be found in the description box as well. Um, if you are going to send a tarot or oracle deck, you might just want to email me really quick and really and check in to see if I have that deck yet, um, so that you know we're not you're not kind of wasting money sending a repeat deck. Okay, um, but the one thing I want to say about this deck is that 
uh, of this Oracle deck is that the author speaks in first person kind of often. So just keep that in mind when I'm saying, when I'm reading through the, the, the definition on the, in the book and I'm speaking, I'm saying things like I, it's coming from the perspective of the author herself. Okay. It's not me speaking personally. It's the author and her narrative. It's sometimes it's in the first person, but it's great. I mean, it still worked really well. The messages were beautiful for that. So I'm excited to, for you to guys, for you guys to see them. And for those of you that are new to the channel and are wondering, I'm not the type of reader that's looking into the situation to be nosy. My intention with these readings here is to bring forward the best messages for you that you need to hear at this time so that you can make a better decision for your life moving forward so that you can have a greater opportunity to be more discerning for your life and for the where you want to go and potentially what could be coming on down the pipeline for you. If at any moment you find that the, something is resonating with you and you don't quite like the way that sounds, you don't want to continue manifesting with that or manifesting that, you have the opportunity to change that manifestation by changing your thought process, then changing your beliefs and changing your alignment to the situation, okay? So just keep in mind, for those of you that are here trying to snoop, trying to get into people's minds, thinking that I'm trying to get into somebody's head, I'm not your guy, all right? There are plenty of people that are out here that may be doing that, but I'm not here for that. Also understand that I do not base my channelings on love specifically. If love comes out, then love comes out. I am not resistant to that. However, if you're looking for specific love readings, then this is probably not the, the channel for you. I do have moments where I will do uh, you know, a love live session here or there, but ultimately the focus of my channel or the focus of Divine Conversation is to bring you greater guidance and understanding about, well, to bring you greater guidance, of, or, I'm sorry, <laughs> to bring you greater understanding about what is going on in your life, the energies that are surrounding you, and then bringing you guidance in, in terms of handling those energies and making the best decisions for yourselves. Yes? Okay, I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Mwah. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for February 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get straight into this here. So your pre-shuffle um, has come out as the Page of Swords. And what I got from the Page of Swords is learning of some sort it's like you may have reached a new level i'm get. i'm also feeling an energy i'm hearing apprenticeship something like that it's like maybe you've it feels like you've reached a new level lately so far a new understanding has come into play and now you're working on fleshing that out or maybe um uh, experiencing that a little more expressing yourself in that within this new mindset um, it's almost an energy of kind of like testing the waters in some way. Um, it feels very exciting. It feels very fresh and new and vibrant. Your overall energy here. Oh, interesting. Your overall energy here is the chariot. Okay, so it's like you're moving forward in a new direction. Um, and you may even, and with this page of swords, it might be that you're moving forward in a new way and you have a new mindset involved with that. Um, there is a very new and fresh and vibrant energy. I was just saying interesting because um, a card here has popped out. It grabbed my attention and it was the Knight of Swords, but it was reversed. I'm turning it upright. Um, number one, because I like to keep my cards upright here. I don't really like to read reversals unless I'm doing a free pull and it comes out that way. But also this is quite relevant, especially with what's underneath it, the high priestess. Okay. The knight of swords in reverse was giving me an energy of not really fighting anymore, not really holding on to old outdated beliefs or whatnot, whatever, maybe that you have really been in an energy of beating the drum of for a very, very long time. But now it's like you're willing you, you're willing to see eye to eye. That's what I just heard. You're willing to see eye to eye with some people that maybe you weren't willing, so willing to do so with in the past. You've come to a new realization or a new understanding. So you're letting go a lot of that fight that has been kind of outdated for you. With the high priestess energy underneath that, it's like you've reached a higher sense of wisdom. You've reached a new, le a new level of conscious understanding within reality within your own reality with maybe within even within the reality of others and how you perceive the reality of others and now it's like there's a there's a level of excitement 
and vibrancy, maybe even youthfulness in your your thought process, your mind, your your belief system, or just maybe even in the way that you express yourself, the way that you approach the world, the way that you approach life, okay? This is a really, really awesome energy for you, Aquarius, especially with you being a fixed sign. These kinds of breakthroughs are usually pretty hard won and tend to be few and far in between. And I don't mean that in, in, a, in an offensive way or a derogatory way. It's just that, you know, Aquarius, just like Leo and Scorpio and Taurus and... Um, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius. Yeah, those just like all the other, you know, uh, fixed signs, fixed energy is about not really changing the game, not, uh, going, going, not going against the grain, you know, go, having a set fixed path and following through that, maintaining some sort of momentum or maintaining some sort of direction in a predetermined path or whatnot, whatever. So ultimately, as a fixed sign, you know, you're all about maintaining that that direction and the, and the plan. But here, this stuff does this, excuse me, this definitely feels like a breakthrough for you. Yeah, look, there's that wheel. There's the wheel of fortune right there. Eight of wands, even there's like, there's definitely an energy of, you know, a change in the karmic balance, a change in your own karma, a change in direction in your life. And, um, you could be moving very quickly through this. Okay, that's a, it's, this is a really, really beautiful thing for you, Aquarius. All right, let me give this one more shuffle. All right, cool. So then let's see what else we've got here for you. Yeah, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of February 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aquarius, we're giving this five shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got for you here. You know what? Spirit is saying three is, a, is sufficient, so let's do that. We'll do three instead. So here we go, three shuffles. One for my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of February 2020. Two. And three. Right. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Aquarius. We have the tower. Well, my my my. That's a pretty strong, pretty strong way to start out your reading here. Um, but to be quite honest, this falls right in line with what um, I was picking up on in the beginning. There is a major change, even a sudden shift. This could be, uh, and I heard sudden shift. So this either could be internally in terms of like all of a sudden you recognize this shift in yourself and you're really ready to follow through um, with a new way of being, a new arc for your life. Um, and this 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 sudden shift could even be an energy of you suddenly feeling like you're ready to do something that maybe you've been procrastinating on or putting off for a long time. This also could be um, the suddenness of this shift in terms of like the people around you experiencing this shift in you. However, and, and so, okay, that makes perfect sense. However, I feel like the, the strongest element here is this shift that you're noticing and experiencing within yourself. And obviously, once you start taking action towards that, the people around you are kind of going to have to deal with or handle or experience this shift as well. But it's very much, especially in terms of the people around you, it's very much an energy of take it or leave it, but this is how it's going to be from now on, or at least this is what I'm doing right now. So like it or lump it, I don't really care. <laughs> you know, this is what's right for me, which is beautiful, Aquarius. I love that. Underneath the tower, you have the 10 of wands. Okay. So this is the energy of releasing a lot of burdens that you may have been carrying for a long time. And I really do kind of feel like all these burdens here, this 10 of wands energy, this is a belief system or this is a, a number of beliefs that you may have been carrying that are old and outdated. Okay. 
um and I, I want you guys to take that energy of old and outdated or that statement of old and outdated with a grain of salt this is not i mean it could be old and outdated for the time period that we're in but i feel like this is more specifically in terms of what is right for you okay what is necessary for your greatest good your highest development that kind of thing that's how i really intend for that message to be taken in terms of something a belief system, belief system or, or or whatnot that is old and outdated for you okay underneath the ten of wands is strength excellent having the strength and the willpower to hold your center and go after what it is you truly want to go after do what it is you really want to do that's really beautiful and underneath strength you have the nine of pentacles and this in, this energy gives me the, immediately as soon as i heard this it was um, a free thinker, independent of other people's opinions, independent of other people's way of being, doing exactly what it is that you need to do that is best for you, okay? That's really quite excellent, Aquarius. Uh, there we go. Okay, I just wanted to put those cards in a place where there isn't too much glare from my lamp over here, but hey. We're just going to have to deal with that. Okay, so um, strong fire energy. I just heard Leo. We have Leo here with strength. You could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. Aries uh, with the tower potentially. But, I, you know, I don't really want to read into the signs here. It, the, the, however, the fire aspect is a really important part of the situation right now um, for you just in terms of like you being passionate and fired up enough to go forward with what it is you're experiencing okay this is this is beautiful now for others for some of you this is with the strength card here there is this is absolutely the strength to um <laughs> to tell your ego to pipe down or at least work towards getting your ego to fall in line so that you know you can reassess things and let go of the burdens that no longer serve you because it very much may have been in the past, you know, with whatever it is you were fighting for in the past that you're now releasing, that very much was an egoic endeavor for sure, okay? But now that you've reached this higher level of awareness, you can work towards um, balancing your ego more, which is allowing you the space and the freedom to release yourself from some sort of burdens here with the Ten of Wands, and that's beautiful. This is great so far. All right, Aquarius. So let's get into the first half of your reading here. You could look at this as the first half and the second half of your month, or you could just look at it as the first half and the second half of your reading. Take it however it resonates. Yes. And if you want to, you could come back to it like later on in the month and see how it actually lines up with all of that. I don't know why I was just in, compelled to say that, but some I guess that's going to resonate for someone out there. All righty. Okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading, you have... The lovers. My, my, my. Okay, so this could be a situation or this could be an energy in which you're coming together with a divine partner, a soulmate. Um, this potentially could be a Gemini. But also in keeping with the whole... Um, in keeping with the, 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 the narrative of, you know, you finding this higher awareness this is definitely an energy or at least it could be if this resonates for you an energy of the the, the balance or union between the the, the 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 masculine and the feminine within energies within you which is allowing you to really embody or stand in this nine of pentacles energy of independence autonomy and even free thinking okay being an independent self being true to who you are now that you've been able to uncover more of this divine connection within your Yourself, you can express that more fully in your life sorry my camera has gone there it is okay um I, I love this now you really could this also you know a divine union could be at hand here um maybe even during aquarius season you could have a chance or there's the potential for divine soulmates to be coming together whether you want to classify that as a twin flame as a soulmate as a divine partnership whatever the ult ultimately it is a sense of divine union um an energy of the 
universe playing matchmaker here. I like that's how I like to you know how I like to think of it. Um, and with the tower here, it could be finally something is being released. Egos are being put in place. Um, burdens that have been carrying are being let go of in order for this divine union to come into play. This is beautiful. Okay, the lovers is coupled with. The Page of Swords again. All right. So there's definitely, this is definitely keeping in line with what I was picking up on initially when the Page of Swords came out in the pre-shuffle where it's, okay, so you have this new level, you've reached this new reality, and now you're playing the field. You're testing it out. You're, you're having fun with it. You know what I mean? You're expressing yourself. You are you're moving into this new energy in a very inquisitive nature potentially there also could be some sort of communication here with the page of swords um there is an energy I'm, I'm getting a little bit of an energy of maybe you or someone else could have been watching you or you could have been watching them um, and now it's time for you two to come together and communicate how you really truly feel about each other that is highly potential uh, that, is a, that is a high potential here but also like i said in the beginning of the reading when it, with the pre-shuffle this is you having reached this inner state of union this inner state of greater balance between the masculine and the feminine within you there's a lot more compassion coming through here and now you're allowed you're allowed okay i guess so yeah you're you're in an energy of being willing to or able to express yourself clearly bluntly honestly without any sort of fanfare or um conditioning okay because the page of swords is the the novice is is just starting out so they don't really have the conditioning or the finesse to really sugarcoat anything or beat around the bush i mean the page of swords is as blunt as you can as you can get <laughs> okay so yeah, really clear and concise communication even for some of you during within this Aquarius season is what I just heard. Okay, beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading, you have the Ace of Swords. My, my, my. Truth, clarity, and honesty. There it is right there. Okay, and that's what we were just talking about with the Page of Swords here. Realizations, aha moments, epiphanies. Um, some of you have may have really gone through a very strong epiphany lately, and now it's the time for that wisdom to, to really to take action, to take hold. I really do see um, someone here moving forward with their sh sword of truth and literally holding it up um, as they move forward, very similar to how this hand is coming through this cloud and presenting this sword to you. And it's not even like you're trying to threaten anyone. It's not even like you're trying to attack anyone. You're just, you're leading with the truth here. The truth is the main focus right now. And so you just want to put that forward. I literally see someone holding a sword and just moving forward like this, just, just going forward, especially with that chariot energy that came out in the pre-shuffle. Okay, so and again, this is not meant to be threatening or anything like that. Maybe some people might be threatened by it, but it's with this page of swords energy here, it's almost as if you're not even focused on that or you don't even see it that way. You, you're just like, hey guys, I have this truth and I want to share it with you. I want people to see it. I want to live my life in this truthful way. And some people may take offense to it and may get triggered by it, you know, but again, I really don't even see you being aware of that this is a very innocent type of energy especially with that page of swords okay the ace of swords is coupled with ah the queen of wands magnetic charismatic magical i do see the queen of wands as a uh, physical embodiment of the law of attraction because the queens or feminine energy represents receptivity and the queen of wands is an energy of being in this receptive state and just allowing the universe to draw what it bring what it is to you you being the magnet being in alignment with what you want and allowing it to come forward with you this is an energy of just standing in your space and allowing yourself to be free and happy and confident within yourself while still um while still moving forward with some sort of truth. And it's uh, it's funny because actually what this also could be saying here is you've reached this level of receptivity, uh, this level of understanding for yourself, maybe even the laws of the universe, the way that the, the nature of the universe. And it's through this sort of truth or whatever this truth represents for you, it is that that is 
continuing to fuel the fires of the Queen of Swords, oh, I'm sorry, of the Queen of Wands within you because the Swords suit represents air, the Wands suit represents fire, fire is fueled by oxygen. This is something that I've been saying a lot lately in, in these readings that I've been doing lately, and actually it's really beautiful. So whatever this truth is, it is the fuel to your fire. And I'm hearing things like you're not looking to let go of it anytime soon. That's excellent. For and now for many of you, those of you that are really very much more feminine dominant in energy, and, and and as I say this all the time, this has nothing to do with gender. Okay, we're talking about energy, right? So you could be male, male like me, and very much feminine dominant in energy and expression. That's definitely how I identify. Um, and so it could be that as you have stepped into this this energy, you, you really have stepped into this Queen of Wands energy, and you're really just. You're just staying in alignment, doing everything that you can to stay in alignment and just allowing the universe to bring forward whatever it is you desire, whatever it is that's going to serve your highest good. And that absolutely could be a divine union here, okay, with the lovers. Your challenge in the first half of the reading here, Aquarius, you have, ooh, the Seven of Swords. You know, I really kind of feel like this Seven of Swords energy is self-deception, which is interesting also because we have this Ace of Swords here with the Page of Swords and we're talking about, you know, leading forward with some sort of truth. So the, the challenge here is um, speaking truthfully, being honest, cutting away anything that is deceptive in nature, especially any sort of deception that you may be holding for yourself or within yourself. Seeing through the lies, seeing through, and, and and to be quite honest, I'm gonna. What this really, truly feels like on the in in the, the greatest amount is, um, weeding out, weeding through the lies and the deception that is apparent in the external world. So this even could be the Seven of Swords energy. This really kind of also feels like it could be something that the people around you are dealing with because they're not really gonna be able to get away with much now that you're in this really perceptive energy, but this really aware energy. And since you're in an energy of leading forward, leading with the truth here, anything or anyone that is deceptive in nature that comes around you is not going to stand very long. So in essence, this doesn't really feel like a challenge for you, Aquarius, or for whomever is resonating with this reading right now. It's really a challenge for the others around you that might step to you trying to bring some mess into your life. You know what I mean? Like, I really kind of feel like they're an energy of you're going to see through it very quickly. They're not going to be able to stand for very, very much longer. Seven of Swords is coupled with, oh, yeah, judgment, okay? So this is definitely an energy where it's like, yo, your time is up, homie. You know, the chickens have come home to roost. You're, it's time for you or someone around you or something like that to answer for your discrepancies, answer for your, um, your, your lies, your deception. There's definitely going to be an energy here either for you Aquarius during you know this month or maybe even during Aquarius season where uh, falsehoods are going to be coming to the forefront you know whatever has been hidden in darkness is now going to be exposed for some people out there either this is for you Aquarius or for whomever is watching this in terms of Aquarius season you're you're really going to be challenged with you know fessing up owning up for the 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 the, 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 the moments or the experiences or the your actions or whatnot whatever that were less than truthful that were coming from a place of less than the highest of integrity so you're gonna have to answer for that there could be a little bit of a karmic backlash here for you and that could absolutely be why you have this tower energy topping off your situation here the very first card out of the deck um in your overall energy and with the strength here it's like your ego is going to have to answer for some things and you know this might be scary you might have been carrying for some of you you might have been carrying the weight or the burdens of all the lies that you've been telling and all the ways that you've been misleading people even maybe even misleading yourself or not being honest with yourself and you i'm getting definitely getting an energy of like having like, like being overburdened with having to keep up with all these different lies it's going to be challenging for whomever this is for, but ultimately it's going to be cleansing and healing and you'll be able to, to start a fresh, start a new, okay? And that's, this is a good thing, but yeah, you might have some karmic backlash to deal with here. 
this really could even be on i'm just gonna say it because it kind of popped into my head but this could be on a social scale like in, in in on a world scale like in in a lot of what we're seeing in the media and maybe even our government like i'm not trying to get political and i'm not trying to predict or pro like you, anything of what's going on there, because you know, those of us in the United States, we're dealing with this whole impeachment thing and all that, and I definitely do not want to get into that. But with this being Aquarius season, with this being an, a, a time of karmic payback, whether your karma is good or not, that you know, payment karma is going to be repaid in kind. That which you have put out there is going to come back to you. That very well could be a thing. I mean, we'll just have to see. Again, I am not trying to really predict all that, but it came through, so I'm just going to say it, okay? And I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Aquarius. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Good. The Knight of Pentacles is an energy of starting small and working your way up. It's an energy of slowly but surely making the progress. It's, it's an energy of slowly but surely learning how to react or how to live or how to act or conduct yourself in this new energetic field that you find yourself in. I am also picking up on some sort of rewards, a, a bit of payout for hard work that you've been really working on slowly but surely, piece by piece, okay? Uh, Knight of Pentacles is coupled with the moon. Ooh, the moon here, okay. So moving forward throughout this time period, there's going to be a, a, a process of building, of learning, and growing. Um... And, and growing from this place of uncertainty with the moon here, things aren't quite clear for you right now, but that's because you really have stepped into this new awareness. And so now you're working through, mainly, mainly what you're gonna need to be doing is working with your intuition because things aren't, it, it's like an energy, uh, I'm feeling an energy of like a newborn baby, okay? That can't really see very well, but they can still feel, they can still pick up they can, on, on emotions. They can still, you know, they can still experience the world around them, but they just can't physically see too well. That's kind of what I'm seeing here for you. This is a brand brand new energy for you. This is also an energy of rebuilding after some sort of tower moment here, okay? Again, the dust, especially with a tower moment, the dust might be still settling a little bit, but you're not wasting any time. You're doing absolutely whatever it is that you can in this moment to get your, the ball rolling, to get the momentum going so you can move forward, okay? Cool. Let's get into the second half of your reading here, Aquarius. First set of surrounding energies you have... The hanged man. Okay. And this is the awareness. This is the enlightenment that I really feel like this is speaking to the enlightenment that you have come into. The, uh, the hanged man is coupled with the eight of pentacles. Very good. So yes, this is in fact speaking to the, the new sense of enlightenment that you've been, that you have uh, come into that you've experienced some of you may still feel a little bit stuck or a little bit in like a limbo a little uh, in, in some way um, it could be anywhere in the spectrum to between you being out of this limbo or you being currently feeling like you are still in the limbo but ultimately whatever this is you're working through that what the one strong thing that i'm getting from this is the awareness and the enlightenment that you've experienced or or cultivated or gained is what you are using as your fuel or your even direction your instruction manual you will say in whatever it is you're crafting here moving forward in in your life this is good i do the strongest thing that i feel with the hanged man and the eight of pentacles is that the this highest this higher awareness that you have cultivated is now what you're using to put to to, to start some new craftsmanship type work or whatever work that you're moving forward towards or moving on with in your life here. Whatever it is you're building, uh, uh, whatnot, whatever. Okay, that's beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Aquarius, you have the Page of Pentacles. Well, there you go. There's that new start. There's that level up. This is also an energy of learning, okay, and understanding. So while I do feel like you are very much in this page energy right now with the page of swords and the page of pentacles, this knight of pentacles energy here, that is your, your closing message or potential outcome. This is you 
moving forward. This is you being committed um, to whatever it is that you're doing or this new mindset, this new way of being. And that's the momentum that's moving you forward as you, with this moon energy, as you try and feel out this new process or this new way of being. Ultimately, what I want to say with this, though, Aquarius, is that this really feels quite excellent. This doesn't feel very troubling for you at all. Okay. Page of Pentacles is coupled with... Oh, the devil. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and play devil's advocate here because... Whatever devil energy you are working through right now is really kind of showing you the ropes. Which is a weird, I mean, this is, this, it, this might be a really weird way of putting this or, or saying it, but that's just kind of what it feels like. It's like, you know, it's like when, it's like when the newbie gets in and all, and all like the, the trolls and whatnot and the, and the narcissists and whatnot, they all come in and start playing games and acting a fool because they know that this newbie isn't going to really get it. Like they can, they can, and, and it's like, they're all pouncing on you because they know as you, as soon as you start to learn, you're not going to be able, they're not going to be able to get away with this any longer. So they're going to get their digs in while they can. Ultimately though, this is only going to make you stronger. Okay. So don't let it get you down too much. Don't let it put off. Don't, don't allow it to be too off putting. Just hold your own, stand your ground, keep your head up and just learn from whatever it is that comes at you at this at this point because because quite frankly you've reached this level anyway so it's not like you can it's not like you can be uh demoted you know it's very much an energy of once you've woken up you can't go back to sleep so don't worry about whatever challenges you face as a newbie in this energy here okay ultimately it's only going to serve to help you become stronger and become wiser all right. Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Aquarius, you have the page of wands. Look at all these page energies. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you very much are in this page of wands energy. And even if you're a person of a certain age, you know what I mean? Of like, you're, you're well into, I don't know, forties, fifties and beyond, like who cares? There is, you can always start over at some point in life. So I don't want you to get discouraged by seeing all this page energy. Again, this is ultimately a good thing because you are now in a new, brand new level of awareness and existence that is only going to enhance your life. Okay. So in this second half of your reading here, your challenge is to follow through with some sort of re-identification of yourself. Like what I'm getting with this page of wands energy is like totally fleshing out how you want to appear, how you want to be perceived, or how, how, how are you going to physically express this new level of, of awareness, this new, mm, even confidence. That feels very exciting. I'm not going to lie. I mean, yeah, it could be daunting. It's probably pretty challenging, but it still feels exciting. Like you have, you get to express yourself in this brand new way. How do I do that? Like, what do I want this to look like? It's beautiful. Page of Wands is coupled with the Eight of Cups. Yeah. Because you are, in fact, walking away from some things that really no longer serve you. Now, this also could be a message. Okay. So Page of Wands... Uh, is a messenger, right? I also see it as a minor arcana version of the hermit, whereas, which is where I get that definition of like re-identifying yourself sometimes. And, and oh, also, okay, so yeah. Uh, and with that said, you know, as the page of wands is an energy of re-identifying yourself, the page of wands, in my opinion, as a reader could also symbolize or symbolize a midlife crisis or a, a quarter life crisis if you're that young. Um, you know, that just especially with the eight of cups here this really could so this 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 situation whatever this is for you aquarius or maybe whomever is watching this and is resonating with this this might look like or feel like this this might feel like to you or look like to you or look like to, to others around you like you're having some sort of midlife crisis when really in reality your identity is just changing is shifting into something much 
bigger and better and bolder and badder than you ever were in the past. So don't allow any of that to confuse you. Also, don't allow any uh, any people to confuse you. Like, you know, you got this. You definitely got this. Don't worry, okay? But yeah, with this Eight of Cups here, it's like you're walking away from something that has been long standing. And to be quite honest, Aquarius, whatever it is you're walking away from, it was never really fully fulfilling or satisfying for you in the past the way you wanted it to be. And with that Knight of Swords energy that was in reverse that popped out of the deck here, it's like you fought so vehemently, so viciously in some cases to preserve that because there was an energy of one day this is going to work out i just know it i just know it but then we're kind of falling into the into the energies of like einstein's definition of insanity where it's like you're doing something over and over and over again the same way but expecting a different result and at some point you changed you shifted something within you shifted here with this hanged man energy something in you within you shifted and you were like you know what this isn't working. It hasn't been working for a long time. Let me switch up the approach. And as soon as you did that, everything changed. And now you have a whole new chapter ahead of you. And yeah, that can be pretty scary. I do feel that. Some of you are kind of like, holy shit, man, I don't know about this, but it's a good thing. I promise you, don't allow your element of fixed nature to really get you down here. Really work on holding that ego in place, in check, okay? And allow your intuition, the moon, and your higher self to really guide you here. Closing message or potential outcome for you in the second half of your reading here, Aquarius. You have the magician. That is excellent. As above, so below. Bringing more of your spiritual reality into the physical, but also... Um, changing the game, uh, uh, manifesting something new and better for yourself. I do get an energy of, this, this is a pretty serious energy right here, but the only thing that is so serious about this magician energy is, is, is just that you're really committed to doing this right is really what I want to say about it. However, that whatever that means for you, I mean, take it as it resonates, but... There is definitely a seriousness here, or maybe even somberness. Even though there's excitement, even though there's 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 fun and new things on the horizon, there is a bit of just focus and, and somberness and like, okay, we're going to do this and we're going to do this right. The Magician is coupled with, <laughs> yep, the Ace of Wands. I love that. I love that. You're really, you're really motivated. You're really inspired. This is a very beautiful energy here, Aquarius. I love this. Or maybe this is just for Aquarius season for you. Who knows? But this is absolutely beautiful. I really like this for you. Okay. So let's get your, your Oracle guidance here for the month of February. I'm give this three shuffles. For my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, and even just for... Aquarius season. And last one here for my Aquarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see. What oracle message do we have for you for this month? We've got... Ooh, the very first card. Wow. Dark Moon, The Void. Well, 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 this actually makes a whole lot of sense because already intuitively what I'm feeling here is like, look, with the, with, even with like the moon here that has come out, this is like you've stepped into uncharted territory. And especially, again, as a fixed sign or in this Aquarius energy, it's like this is really kind of scary. You know, you have no idea what to expect. You can't see anything. I mean, there is no light for the, that the, that the, that is being reflected here. So there's barely, you can barely see where you're going, but you're moving forward nonetheless with this Knight of Pentacles energy. Okay. This is, wow. 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 Okay. So let's see what this, what does this say? Okay. Dark Moon, The Void. Your time to rest and reset is here. Release all that does not serve you. Stop resisting. The Void is a time of possibility, not just darkness. There is nothing to fear in letting go of negative patterns and habits, so let go of the old. 
While the full moon, full attractive power, gets all the publicity, the dark moon, which offers the infinite possibilities of a clean slate, is just as powerful in its own way. The dark moon often looks like just a darker piece of the night sky, and in some cultures, the way it appears harkens back to the idea of, quote, the void. It is a place of unknowable secrets, a state of, quote, everything and nothing, or a place to prepare or rest before moving on. To me personally, there is a reliving, relieving, excuse me, restful quality about this darkest moon that allows pondering and decisions about what we can jettison before making fresh plans for the new moon, which is the next day. Is there anything else? Yes. If you find yourself resisting the dark moon, it is usually a clear sign that you are being stubborn and letting go of something that is old and not serving you in a positive... I'm sorry. Um, it, it usually is a clear sign that you are being stubborn about letting go of something that is old and not serving you in a positive way any longer. Often that is a fear or pattern that was created to protect you in some way. However, now it is outdated, yet you are still carrying it or acting it out. Know that this moon is powerful, but it is also incredibly gentle in the way it helps you unravel what actually is so you can embrace the fresh start of tomorrow. Relax, reframe, and think about how much better your life will be without that bad habit, fear, or pattern. Get very clear about the possibilities of this transformation and what it will give you in real terms. This is the power of the dark moon. It is the optimum time in the cycle to release the old and cut the cords of relationships and traumas that deserve no time and attention in your present. The companion stone or metal for this is jet. So if you would like to get some jet to help you through this process, I highly recommend it if that resonates with you. But with that said, Aquarius, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. Um, I am wishing you a very, very happy birthday. I'm sending you so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of March. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.